I'd like to start this video off by taking a moment to appreciate this awesome new shirt that I got. If you can't read it, it says bringing feminism back, and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a very fun unboxing video because I have not one, but two Owl Crate boxes to unbox. So here I have the August and September boxes. Since I've been away at school, I've gotten kind of behind on my unboxing videos, and I had both of them here still yet to be unboxed, so I decided that I would combine them into to one video and just do one giant fun Owl Crate unboxing video. If you haven't seen any of my other Owl Crate unboxing videos, they're one of my favorite bookish subscription boxes, and I'm an Owl Crate rep, which means that they send me one of their lovely boxes every month, and I also have a 15% off coupon code for you guys. So if you enter the code clockwork at checkout, then you get 15% off of your very first Owl Crate box, and I highly recommend trying them out at least once if you're interested at all, because they're just so much fun and I love receiving them every month. But without any further ado, let's get into the August box first. Quite honestly, I don't remember what the theme is for either of the months, so I'm just gonna be like extra surprised this month, but that's okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so the August theme is Something Wicked This Way Comes, and this is the gorgeous card that they have that has all the information for everything that's inside on the back, and I love the artwork on this one. It's super cool, definitely perfect for fall, and perfect for the theme. Okay, the first thing that I'm seeing in here are these adorable Edgar Allan Poe socks from Out of Print Clothing, and I literally love these so much. The next thing that's in here is super funny. It says death before decaf, dark arts roast, and it's a two ounce coffee sampler, but I literally just love the name of it. Like death before decaf is hilarious. And I love that it's like a dark arts roast. So definitely like Harry Potter themed. Ooh, I love this next thing. Okay, so it's a fountain pen and I am obsessed with pens because I really like trying to do like different fonts and trying out calligraphy, even though I'm really bad at it. The fact that this is a fountain pen makes it so, so cool and it's gonna be so much fun to try and like write with. I've never used a fountain pen before, so I'm really excited to try this one out. Oh my gosh, yes, I love this next thing so, so much. Okay, so it is a sticker that's inspired by this Savage song and our dark duet, the Monsters of Verity duology by Victoria Schwab. And it has a quote on it that says, we are the darkest acts made light. It's just such a beautiful design. I absolutely love it. I'm so in love with that duology. It's one of my favorite series like of all time. And I'm so happy to have this now. Okay, seriously, this theme is is like perfect. I love everything that's in here. The next thing that's in here is this bookmark that's double-sided and both sides have quotes from Six of Crows. The first quote says, when everyone knows you're a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. And then the other quote is the classic, no mourners, no funerals. Among them, it passed for good luck. I absolutely love this. As you all know, I'm the biggest fan of the Six of Crows duology. It's one of my favorite series of all time. And I'm just so happy to have another inspired bookmark by the series. So the next thing that's in here is actually another book and it is a copy of Sleepy Hollow and other short stories by Washington Irving and it's in this beautiful beautiful edition that I have never seen before. The back also has a quote on it and I'm pretty sure this is a design from Rock Paper Company. I think that's their name and they basically remake like the covers of like classic novels and they have really cool art on the covers and they're just amazing. I've seen so many of them before and I really really like this one so it's so amazing that they were able to include a second book in this box. I love when they do that. The next thing that I'm seeing in here is the Owl Crate exclusive pin that is in this month's box, and it basically has some of the same design that's on the card that tells you everything that's in the box. And of course, the very last thing in the box is the book for the month, and this month's book is The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Also, this is another Owl Crate exclusive cover. They've been doing that for like several months now, and it's been so, so great because I just love having like different cover variations for cool books, and it's just amazing that they can do that. I don't know what the actual cover of this book looks like, like the original one, because I've never heard of it before, but I do really like this cover. I'm not usually too big of a fan of faces on covers, but I like the text over it, and it just looks really cool. So like I mentioned, I've never heard of this book before, but I just read the summary, and it does sound very, very cool. It's basically about this girl who makes a deal with a demon and gives the demon her heart in exchange for a wish, and then that has really bad repercussions, and that just sounds really fun. It kind of sounds like an episode of Supernatural, but I also am very much intrigued by it. So I like the concept a lot and it definitely fits the Something Wicked This Way Comes theme. And then also in the bag there came a signed book plate as always 
and a note from the author describing her book and everything and I am just very excited to read this before I read the book as well. I think it's the perfect like October book. It'll be definitely great around Halloween. So I'm very, very excited to dive into this one. So that is everything that was in the August Owl Crate box. And now moving on to the September Owl Crate box. I am so excited to get into this one because I haven't been spoiled for the items in here, but I know that one of the items they're including is a book bow, which is like a book sleeve essentially to carry your books. And I don't know what it looks like yet, but I'm so, so excited about it. So let's get into opening this other box up. All right, the theme for this month is mythical creatures. And can we just talk about this gorgeous card? I love the constellations. It's so, so pretty. Honestly, this is like a mini print in itself. I love it. I would hang this up on my wall. The very first thing that I'm seeing in here is the Alcrate exclusive pin that also has the constellation design on it as well. The next thing that I see in here is the Soap Librarian Son of Poseidon tea bath salts, which is really, really cool. It's basically just like this little jar that's full of like blue bath salts. I'm gonna open it and smell it. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells really fresh and definitely kind of floral. The ingredients are basically just like a bunch of different flowers and you can see like inside it has flower petals as well as the blue bath salts. And I just really like this. I've never used bath salts before, but I'm very intrigued by them. Okay, the next thing that's in here is absolutely beautiful. It is this wooden bookmark that has this gorgeous game of of Thrones inspired design on it and it has a quote that says I am the blood of the dragon and it has the three dragons on here as well as Daenerys. I actually recently watched the entirety of Game of Thrones for the first time and I actually really liked it even though I thought that I wasn't going to but I'm very excited to have this now because I love Daenerys and this is just such a beautiful bookmark. Okay so I finally got to the book bow and I'm so so happy about it. It is so beautiful. So it has this gorgeous gorgeous print on it with like mermaids and unicorns and it's just so gorgeous. I love the colors. If you don't know what a book bow is, it's essentially just like a book sleeve. So like you can put your book in here and then like put it in your bag to carry around so your book doesn't get damaged, which is very, very important for me because I cannot stand it if my books get damaged from like being in my bag. And this is so, so perfect for that. And I am just so happy to have this in this gorgeous, gorgeous design. Oh my gosh. Okay, this next thing is so so cute. It's just this little mini coin purse with this cute dragon design on it. And I love this so much. I've actually kind of been needing one because my wallet has like too many coins in it. And I think having this in my bag would be very, very convenient. So it's perfect and adorable and I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. The next thing in here is this adorable sticker and it is a sticker of Hagrid and Buckbeak. And it's so, so cute. It's just the two of them and Hagrid is just hugging Buckbeak and it makes my heart so warm and so happy and I just love it so much. Okay, so before I get to the book, there's actually uh, another thing in here and Alcrate now has their own little newsletter thing that comes in the box, which is really, really cool. And this obviously is for this month. It has like information about the items that are in this month's box and the creators of some of those items and their shops, some sneak peeks for next month and stuff, which is really, really cool. I'm glad that they're able to do this as well now. Okay, I took it out of the plastic, but the book for this month is Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows. This, from what I understand, is the first book in the Fallen Isles trilogy. I've never heard of it before, but I do really like the cover. Oh, it's also an Owlcrate exclusive cover. I forgot to mention that. So from what I understand about this book, it is a fantasy that follows the story of this girl named Amira, who is very well loved by the people of the Isles. And it's basically because she created like this peace treaty between the Seven Isles and the people of the mainland. But then something happens where she ends up being locked away in in the deadliest prison in all of the Seven Isles and things just kind of escalate from there. She's been betrayed by the people that she supported and things just don't seem like they're going too well for her. It sounds like a really fun fantasy, especially for the fall, which is when I really like to read most of my fantasy novels. So I'm very much intrigued by the synopsis. It sounds really interesting and I hope it lives up to my expectations. And of course, there's always little extras in the bag as well. And this time there's this little like guide to dragons of the Fallen Isles. So it's basically like a bunch of info about the dragons in this series, which is really cool because I love dragons and I love a little good like guide on them too. And then of course, as always, there is the signed book plate as well as the note from the author. And lastly, of course, there is the card that tells you the theme for next month, which is Find Me in the Forest, which again, I think is perfect for October. I'm very, very excited about it and the art already looks very promising, so I cannot wait. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for my August and September Owlcrate unboxing 
unboxings. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget, if you'd like to check out Owl Crate for yourself, I have a 15% off coupon code that you can use to get your first box. I gain nothing from the code. It's just something for you guys if you're interested in trying out Owl Crate for yourself. As always, I'm super pleased with both of these boxes and all of the items they include. I have to say though, I think I really, really liked the September box. I loved everything that was in there. The book bow is beautiful and I love the gorgeous Game of Thrones bookmark and just everything. It's all so much fun. It always feels like Christmas whenever I get to open an Owl Crate box. So a huge, huge thank you to Owl Crate as always for doing such a fantastic job. But that is it for this video. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.